Medyo mahaba, so please listen carefully. You got question number four. Land transportation is one of the ways for the people to travel from one place to another. This is an inevitable way for the people of the community, whether you own a car or you are one of the so-called commuters. The greatest challenge of the people who transport through land is the traffic jam which is widely evident in Metro Manila. This problem has, has been passed to many president of our country, but still it remained unsolved. If you were, if you were to be the first gay chairman or secretary of MMDA, how will you address the traffic in Metro Manila? Once again, the question is, if you were to be the first gay chairman or secretary of MMDA, how will you address the traffic in Metro Manila? Well, um, good, uh, good evening to, uh, to all the board of judges um, and to the audiences. Um, if I were given the chance to be the chairman of MMDA, of course, um, there, are the, um, there are a lot of ways um, that I can encourage, um, encourage to the people in order to um, para mabawasan ng traffic ko sa Metro Manila. So, ano ba yung mga ways na ito? Unang-una, pwede po natin hikayatin ang mga bata, lalo na ang matatanda, na tigilan na lang na, lamang nilang mag-commute. Instead of be, um, commuting, pwede naman po silang maglakad na lamang or use a bicycle instead. That would also benefit their health as well. And second, um, napaka-importante napaka po nito is yung self-discipline. Lagi po natin kailangan sundin ang mga traffic lights sa Metro Manila. Ang nagiging problema ngayon sa Metro Manila is that alam na po nila na ang mga traffic lights ay alam naman po nila mga traffic lights ay nakago pero sila pa rin ay nakastop pero sila pa rin ay nakago. Yun lamang po. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was your candidate number one, Kim Domingo. Alright. Moving forward, let's now have your candidate number two. Rian Ramos. Hello there, candidate number two. How are you? Um, I'm actually sick right now, but I'm having fun. Kasi sobrang dami ng tao na nanonood. And the last time that I've competed here, that was like 2016. And that was my first time to be on a Miss K. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you coming over, Thank even so though much. you're not feeling well, just like me. <laughs> <laughs> but the show must go on. Ika nga, let's have the question, please. All right, this is a long one. Listen carefully. You'll be question number six. Last year, a transgender was allowed to conquer the stage of <coughs> Miss Universe as permitted by the organization itself. This is to promote equality, which lead to controversies that it violates the rights of women who were in that competition. Here's the question. Don't you think that having a new competition for transgenders is a better way to promote equality, team to collaborate them, or rather than to collaborate them in Miss Universe, why or why not? Once again, the question is, don't you think having a new competition for transgenders is a better way to promote equality than to collaborate them in Miss Universe? Why or why not? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, before I answer that question, thank you so much for the very warm welcoming of us, third gender here in your barangay. So last year, there was this one transgender woman who competed in Miss Universe. If I'm not getting mistaken, it was Miss Payne. And it was held at Thailand, Pattaya, right? I believe that country is very open and respectful when it comes to transgenders. That was, that's why the organizers allowed a single trans woman to compete in the Miss Universe. But I believe, ladies and gentlemen, we trans women have our own competition, and this is Miss Gay. 
womanhood versus the trans womanhood will always contradict to each other. Whether we are portraying the image of a woman, we should always respect women. And that is the only way for us to have an equality. Not just for us, to the LGBTQ community, but also to the womanhood. Always remember, we are not favored with one trans woman competing with a biological woman. Because a biological woman and a trans woman has a huge difference from it. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, the only thing that we should apply to our souls and to our heart is to respect. Whether it is inside a beauty pageant or outside the beauty pageant, there is always communities for each sexualities, for men, for women, and for the LGBT people. Always put to your mind from the Article 3, Section 11 of the Philippines Constitution, 1962 states that the state value and dignity of each human individual should be guaranteed to be respected, whether you are part of the LGBTQ community or you are a man or a woman because at the end of the day God will never judge you beyond your sexuality but God will judge you beyond your deepest heart and your deepest soul very well said that was your candidate number two thank you so much Ms. Ria Rounds moving forward let's now have your candidate number three we have here the darling of the crowd, Janeline Mercado. Hello there, Chet. Hello, and salamat sa mga tao here at barangay kamatchiles. Marami salamat sa warm welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much as well for entertaining us tonight. Now, are you ready for the question? Please pick one. Number two. <laughs> I pick air condition. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there you go. You have the question number three. And the question is, Today's society has been diversified by many factors, including cultural and religious beliefs, social classes, and some sort of personal preferences. It is known fact that in our country, the LGBTQIA community has been actively fighting for their rights or equality through the Sexual Orientation and Gender Identity Expression Bill, also known as the Sochi Bill. Now here's the question. As a Christian or a Catholic, what is your stand about this issue? Okay, so, hindi man ako sing galing ni Numan, hindi man ako sing talino ni Numan, pero sasagutin ko yan sa aking lingwahe at lawak ng aking kaalaman na maintindihan ng mga kabataan at mga tao nandirito. Ano nga daw po bang opinion ko about that issue, about Soju Bill, na mayroon naman tayong iba-ibang culture at paniniwala at bilang isang katoliko? Simple lamang po, pag ganyan po ang katanungan, opinion ko po to, so walang maling kasagutan, bagus, magiging tama dahil ito yung opinion ko. So ako yung tinatanong, ako rin yung sasagot. So ladies and gentlemen, alam naman po natin bilang isang... Catholic, Roman Catholic, marami pong Katoliko, at nire-respeto ko rin po ang mga ibang relihiyon na nandito ngayong gabi dahil sensitibo po ang ganyang katanungan. May mga mithiin at gusto tayo. May mga ayaw at gusto rin na mga manaig dito sa ating lipunan. Re-respetuhin ko po yan dahil po ako tinatanong, syempre po, pilaglalaban po namin ang aming karapatan Ito po, ito pong entablado na ito ay selebrasyon ng LGBTQ community kung saan na mag-uusapan ang ganyan. Hindi pa po maisabatas yung aming dinudulog na Soji Bill dahil marami pa rin pong senator na hindi po pumipirma dito. Kagaya po ng katanungan, marami tayong belief, marami tayong gusto, marami tayong culture. So may iba talagang hindi pa panig. So ito na lang po yan, wala naman po kasi talagang kailangang batas. Pagkos, ikaw sa sarili mo kung maayos ka. Kung maayos mo, ginagampanan ang katauhan mo bilang isang mamamayang Pilipino, bilang taong nakatayo dito sa ating lipunan, magiging mabuti ang lahat ng gagalaw sa'yo. 
tayong mga bakla sa dinami-dami ng dinadaing natin, tayong mga member of LGBTQ community, lagi na lang pong questionable pag ganyang issue. Bakit hindi tayo pinagbibigyan? Dahil nga po din siguro, kapag nakagawa po ng isang kasalanan ng isang Becky, nilalahat po nila na nakakalungkot naman pong isipin. So, kung hindi man po kami, itong issue na to, hindi ba natatapos sa Senado dahil hanggang ngayon ay nakabinbin pa rin ito. Ngunit kahit nakabinbin ito, patuloy pa rin kaming mga kabaklaan. Ipaglalaban ang aming karapatan. Always remember this, nasa amin na po lahat sa mga may profesyon, may baklang doktor na handang gumamot sa lahat ng mga taong may sakit. May baklang arkitekto na gumagawa ng ating tahanan at may, may baklang abogado na kaya kayong tulungan sa mga kaso, lalong-lalo na ang mga mahihirap. Nandito na po kami sa inyong lipunan. Pagtanggap na lang po, pero bilang isang membro, dapat ikaw tanggapin mo muna ang mga tao at maging mabuti kang elemplo dito sa lipunan upang sa ganun, wala na pag-uusapan, ipapasa at ipapasa ang batas at ang mga sinisigaw ng ating mga puso. Maraming salamat po! Always remember please, pag itong ginawa mo para kayong uminaw ng tanduway, walang kabantay. Thank you! So, thank you so much. That was your candidate number three, Jenny Lee Alright!